One last discrete distribution we should chat about briefly is the discrete uniform distribution. Again, as a distribution of a discrete random variable, the realizations of a uniformly distributed random variable are integer values. The term uniform refers to the fact that each realization has the same likelihood of occurring. And we mentioned that it's a discrete uniform distribution, as there's also a continuous uniform distribution that we'll discuss later on. The realizations of the uniform distribution are bounded by two integer values that we'll call a and b. And unlike the other discrete distributions we've seen, the lower bound a need not be zero because we're not necessarily dealing with counts as we were with the other distributions. Therefore, if there are n possible realizations of the random variable, then the likelihood of any realization is 1 divided by n. An easy example of a random variable that follows a uniform distribution would be random variable y defined as the value that we roll in a single roll of a die. There are six possibilities for the outcome of a single roll of a die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. And assuming no funny business with the die, all of those rolls are equally likely. The set of realizations is the set containing integers 1 through 6, including 1 and 6. There are six possible realizations, therefore the probability of any particular realization is 1 divided by 6. The distribution of the roll of a die is probably what you'd expect it to be. Six realizations, each occurring with a probability 0.167. The expected value of a discrete uniform distribution is, not surprisingly, just the average of the two bounds, a plus b divided by 2. You can check that at home by multiplying each realization by the probability of that realization, 1 over n, and summing across realizations. For the die example, the expected value is 1 plus 6 divided by 2, or 3.5. If we repeat the experiment over and over, what would we expect the random variable to be? 3.5. The variance of a discrete uniform distribution is b minus a plus 1 quantity squared minus 1 all over 12. For the die rolling problem, the variance is 2.917. Therefore, the standard deviation would be 1.708. To recap, the discrete uniform distribution is good for modeling the probability of a random variable whose realizations all have equal likelihoods of occurring. Its construction is pretty simple relative to the other discrete distributions we've discussed.